Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today in BuildBox Tips, I'm going to show you how to use a character button to to call upon an action to change the look of the character. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, I was playing this game Kubrick, and in it you start out as a white block, and you tap to change black, and you don't tap to be white, and then if you're the same color, you don't die. So here, I'll just, this is, this is that game. And this game was built by BuildBox. And uh, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. How did they do that? Uh, this is obviously an isometric. What I recreated is not isometric because um, I'm just not so familiar with isometric. And uh, yeah, this one's a lot simpler, so. Here we go, and then I'll take a look. So, character is red. If it's different color, that's good. And then you press it, it turns blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Boom. Okay, so, <clears throat> character. Uh, I selected, I believe, avoidance. And then I went into the world UI, I grabbed the character button, and here's the character. Change the function to component action. And then, uh, added objects. So right now this is the red block and the blue block. And it's important to know that I've manipulated the collision shape for each of them so the right for the blue if you hit the right side you die and then for the red if you hit the left side you die and then if you take a look at the character actually it's specific on the left side so red is on the left characters on the left if they hit each other then game over uh, but if it's on the blue, then you'll be alive. Then I went to this action and I created an action <clears throat> and uh, made it the blue ball. Ooh, action type invincibility. You can probably put that none. So let me just confirm that still works. Was that right? Oh crap, so it doesn't work. No, it does work. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> Obviously it works, there's no doubt. Um, so change the character. The new action image is over it. Get rid of these, don't need any of that. And of course here is that is not the collision editor um, here. Okay, hmm, where did I do that? Did I do that? Interesting, you know what? I'm gonna hit this and then hit that. Yeah, so it's left and right. Just can't remember, is it this blue ball? No, it's not this blue ball. If I remove this blue ball, it'll help me with any confusion I'm having. It's the action. But this action collision shape looks fine. Oh, okay. My mistake. Uh, in the character, so the character button calls a component action and what you do is you add a component advanced move and in this advanced move is where the character so this this action actually isn't doesn't do anything yes um and so this is an advanced move and then the animation is here or the image and then replace and uh, here is where the collision editor is to the right so yeah this is, Works for me, get, get to go through this. It took me a couple hours to find the best way to do this, 
Um, because there's probably a bunch of ways you can do this, but this is specifically with a character button and advanced move. If you've liked this video, if this was helpful, please like, and I will see you at the next tip.